poverty alleviation, maybe good governance. And uh, I think uh, someone said maybe we ought to do something about the perceived discrimination. Okay, because uh, you know whether we like it or not, whether we think it's, it's real or not, some people feel that there is discrimination in Mindanao uh, against you know uh, against the Muslims. Um, I mean, I'm obviously standing here, not knowing exactly what goes on there, but we have, you know, people here like uh, uh, Mr. Blasak, right? Right. Uh, and there are people here like Charles, uh, Charles Hardy, who has been very involved with the uh, Mindanao Project, and uh, I understand our uh, ambassador is uh, has, has a very uh, good connection in Mindanao. So hopefully we can... Uh, uh, so we can uh, invoke, uh, invoke the, uh, the assistance, if not the uh, cooperation of the uh, embassy in that way. But I think, uh, so this is really just introducing to you that there is this Mindanao Peace Initiative. We want to tell the world that there is something going on in the Philippines which not many people know about, and we would like to do something about it. Because the thing is, uh, if, it, if you look at the UK, most of the the efforts here are towards the Middle East. I mean, Middle East is not the only place of crisis. You know, we also exist there. And I'm sad to say that uh, the British government actually does not even include the Philippines as a developmental um, uh, recipient of aid, of developmental aid. Vietnam is, but I don't know why, they think, maybe they think the uh, Philippines is already, you know, uh, fairly wealthy. Um, so we don't need it, but I, I think we do. Right, right. But I think to be fair to the, uh, to the British government, the British Embassy I know actually went there because they really wanted to uh, use the experience of Northern Ireland. Okay, uh, I think the best thing is, uh, I'll just say to you, please, you know, bear us in mind and be patient with us as we try to develop this, hopefully with, you know, people from Mindanao because there are a number here. And I'd like also to uh, now maybe ask um, Charles, to say something about what is done in uh, Mindanao, and maybe uh, uh, Mr. Wahid could also say something very briefly. Um.